हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू ज्ञान गंगा क्लास और हम आज देखते हैं क्या है क्लास ऑफ सोशल साइंस की हिस्ट्री चैप्टर नंबर थ्री इन अर्लीस्ट सिटीज और आज बात करेंगे अर्लीस्ट सिटीज जो कि आज से लाइक इट माइट बी थाउजेंड्स सेवरल थाउजेंड्स और लैक इयर्स बिफोर सो लेट अस सी हाउ इट वॉज सो वॉट वी विल कवर टूडे अबाउट द हरप्पन कल्चर द स्पेशलिटी ऑफ दियर सिटीज the houses rings and streets that they used that they made of the style that they made it the life how was the life in the city by that time then the craft of city and the farming and cattle herding how these were happening and we will also learn about a harappan town in gujarat and their history and name so we will cover the complete harappan culture in this video so make sure you just watch it till the end and do not skip it also If you are not subscribed, if you not subscribed, not joined our family yet, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss any such videos. चलिए अभी शुरू करते हैं आज का चैप्टर that is story of Harappan culture. तो आगे का ये story कैसे शुरू होती है? This is the oldest known story city. What it is? It is the oldest known city in India, in the subcontinent, or you can say. So these are the cities that were the first explored by the archaeologists. They were the named Harappa, Harappa style or Harappan culture. Archaeologists found these cities about from now on eighty years ago. About eighty years ago, they found such cities that were made thousands of years ago. And then rest after all the other cities that were similar, using similar things, similar structure or objects. they were known as the harappan cities clear they found one city they known about its culture its style and everything the architecture objects they called it harappa culture or harappan culture then they found other similar cities looking similar to those so they were all known as the harappan cities the cities were developed about 4700 years ago What was the speciality of these cities? On this map, me if I zoom in, you can see this is the basic area where the Harappan culture was found. These mark areas are the speciality of Harappan culture. So these, in the specialities, क्या थी? In the speciality थी कि ये cities two parts में divided. These cities were divided into two parts. One was citadel, and another was lower town. What was citadel? Citadel was the part of the west, which was smaller but higher, and was called citadel. So, this is the west zone, and this was the east. So, this part, this part divided by the river Indus, this part was the citadel. It was the west part of the city, which was smaller but higher, and the another part, the rest part, was the Part towards east. This was the part towards east. This you can see. This is larger area. This is the larger town, but was called lower town because they were not having that development as there was in the citadel. You can see here these walls. So much big bricks were used to make the walls. The arrangement you can see how it is arranged. These walls. These bricks are the baked up bricks. इनको बेक करके बनाए गए थे दीज हॉल्स वर मेड अप ऑफ बेक ब्रिक्स द ब्रिक्स वर सो वेल बेक दैट दे हैव लास्टेड फॉर थाउजेंड्स ऑफ ईयर यू कैन सी हियर द हाउ मच ईयर अगो द सिटी वाज डेवलप्ड अबाउट 5000 इयर्स अगो एंड स्टिल नाउ व्हेन द 80 इयर्स अगो अबाउट द आर्किटेक्चर आर्कियोलॉजिस्ट जस्ट फाउंड इट इट वाज इन सच अ हेल्दी स्टेट दैट वी कैन सी ईच ऑफ द ब्रिक्स अलोन ओके सो This was so baked bricks. These were so well baked that they lasted about thousands of years. You can see the pattern they are forming in the wall. This side, see the pattern here. These were laid in a interlocking pattern. What's the pattern? The interlocking pattern was used to make the walls so that they are become more stronger walls. The in interlocking pattern was of bricks. Was used. Okay, this is the Mohanjodaro's great path. 
this this place is known as Mohenjo-daro's great palace. Okay. Now let us learn about the houses, drains, and streets. कैसी उनकी houses होते थे, कैसे drains, अभी तो walls के बारे में जाने, कैसी streets use करते थे उस समय. उस time ही there were drains, there were streets. Okay. So most of houses had a separate bathing area, and some had well to supply water. You can see here this is the well. These have this is specially the bathing area. The well is there to supply water. Many cities has covered drains. On many cities ke kaise drains thi? Here you can see this is the open drain. Some there will be closed drains. There were covered drains. Okay. Each drain had a gentle slope so that the water could flow through it. They were used like a Natural slope. There was a natural slope in the ground for the drains, so that the water can flow from one direction to other. Drains in houses were connected to the streets and smaller drains, which ultimately led to the bigger ones. A drains, two drains, say interconnected. Thi. So well was their thought process, their structure at that time. And now let us learn about how was the life in the city. उस time life कैसी होती थी cities में? We know the city, complete city was divided into citadel and lower town. This was the citadel. This was the lower town. So, in the same way, the city life जो वहाँ लोग रहते थे, the society was there. It was developed. It was divided into three categories. One was rulers, the people who planned the construction of the special buildings. In the city, like these, in the citadels, special buildings were set. In citadels, special buildings were made, and the rulers were there who just planned about what type of building will be made, where it will be made, and how it might look. Rulers sent people to distant lands to get metal, precious stones, and other things that they wanted. Rulers were the people who ki dusre logo ko bejte the. To other lands, to the different places, so that they get the different things that they do not own, the raw materials that they need to just buy from other places, like metals, precious stones, and many other things. The another ones, the scribes, the people who knew how to write and help preparing the seals, and perhaps write on the material that had not survived. First category, kya thi? Rulers. Now the king, scribes. Scribes are the person who knew how to write. Scribes, yani likhna, scribbling. So the person who know how to write was the scribes. Or unka kya duty tha? They help in preparing different type of seals. Now there was craft person who used to make all other kind of crafts, anything from the stone art crafts to something wooden and anything that they. Or metallic something, anything that was to be made, all kind of things were made by the people called craft persons. Now let us learn about different kinds of crafts of the city. अभी तो हम लोग लोगों के बारे में जाने. अब crafts वो कैसे कैसे बनाते थे? Most objects were made of stone, shell, metal. क्या क्या items use करते थे? Raw materials, stone, shell and metals were used to make different kinds of crafts. Metals में क्या थे? Copper, bronze, gold, and silver. What type of metal were used? Copper, bronze, gold, and silver. You can see these were the crafts. These were the jewelries or artifacts, something like that, that were made at that time using special kind of stone, shells, and different kind of metals. You can see gold, copper, bronze. Silver and so many things. Copper and bronze were used to make tools, weapons, ornaments, and vessels. Copper or bronze का यूज़ होते थे. Copper and bronze were used to make tools, weapons, ornaments, and vessels. And the gold and silver were used to make ornaments and vessels only. Copper, bronze, ornament, vessels में भी यूज़ होते थे. Or tools or weapons भी यूज़ होते थे उनके. But gold and silver was used to make just the ornament and vessels.
स्टील्स वर मेड आउट ऑफ स्टोन स्टोन का क्या यूज था उससे डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ सील्स बनाए जाते थे समेक्टेंगुलर इन शेप समर्कुलर सो मोस्टली वर रेक्टेंगुलर इन शेप और उस पर क्या होता था यू कैन सी these were rectangular kind of seals and what is this this is some kind of animal here it is elephant this is wild bull or something like that kuch aise types ke animal us pe carved hain they also made pots with beautiful black designs aur wo log kya karte the wo log pots bhi banate the so they make ornaments they made seals they made vessels they made different kinds of pots of black pots so so many things were made at that time actual piece pieces of cloth were found attached to the lid aur jab archaeologists ne unko discover kiya they also find the type of vase or something like that the elements that were the remains of that time in the places were also having some kind of cloth attached to it so it means people started to know about just weaving and stitching about the clothes okay so that they started using clothes as the fabrics as the clothes for themselves pehle hum log jante they were using the tree bark and leaves and now in the harappan culture they started using the fabrics archaeologists also have find the spindle holes the spinning wheel that were made of terracotta this is the hand spindle basically jo ki haath se spinning karne ka kaam aata hai so that made of terracotta and fans which were used to spin the thread this was you can see the thread was also there because the fabric is there so mostly they were knowing how to do the hand spindle and then make the thread out of the fibers which kind of a material was used to make this hand spindle terracotta and fans the fans terracotta to ab samajh lo but what was fans fans was the material that was artificially produced at that time a gum was used to shape sand and powdered pots into an object it was kind of a gum which was used with around the sand and powdered pots and it was such a shining object it was used to give the shine to the object or something like that it was this fans material was used to make beads bangles earrings and tiny vessels basically fans was used to give the luster to the object and it was used in making the ornaments like beads bangles earrings or something like that now let us learn about the raw materials how did they find the raw material we know they need fiber fibers they need different kind of metals the gum wood and so much more so how was they getting these raw materials they were getting these raw materials produced by the farmers or the herders they used to get it from the herders that they were residing in the city they got copper from the present day rajasthan and from oman and west asia but they were not having the copper inside their growth or their living their city so they just imported it from the present day rajasthan and a city called oman in west asia tin was a mix of copper to produce bronze tin was mixed to copper to produce bronze and all the way it was brought from afghanistan and iran tin ka se wo log import karte the from the afghanistan and iran gold was imported from the present day karnataka and precious stone was imported from the present day gujarat iran and afghanistan like rest of the things like fibers food items goods and everything was inbuilt was they getting from the inside the city but the copper first was copper which was obtained from the rajasthan and oman tin was imported from afghanistan and iran gold was from the present day karnataka 
and the precious stones were imported from Gujarat, Iran, and Afghanistan. Clear? Now let us learn about more about the farming and the cattle herding. The who were doing these things? They were we know in the city there were the ruler, the scribes, and the craft persons. But where were the farmers and cattle herders? So they lived in the countryside, like the lower town, which was not such developed. They were living there, growing crops and rearing the animals. The farmers, the cattle herders, were living in the lower town side of the city, which was not such developed as the citadel. You can see this side. This, these were the places where the cattle herders. See, they were farming here. So many lower towns people were doing the job of farmers. In Harappan era, they grew wheat, barley, pulses, peas, rice, sesame, linseed, and mustard. So many crops were so many food crops were grown at that time. And as a tool, they were using plough. Plough was used as a tool. It was a wooden tool which was used to dig earth and for turning the soil and planting seeds. This was used as the wooden plough was used to dig earth for turning the soil and planting the seeds. They also reared the cattle. What kind of cattle? Sheep, goat and buffalo. They reared sheep, goat and buffalo. In the dry months, summer months, large herds of animals were probably taken to the greater distance in search of grass and water. और उनको बहुत दूर दूर तक और the grass and water के लिए summers में जाना पड़ता था. So we know what kind of food crops they were growing: wheat, barley, pulses, peas, seed, rice, sesame, linseed, mustard. And what kind of cattle they were rearing: sheep, goat, and buffalo. You can see this is the tool that I was talking about, and this was used with, along with somewhere with the help of animals like that. People also collected fruits like bear, and caught fish and hunted wild animals like antelope. Antelope kind of animals were hunted. Fishes were also caught and used for different purpose for the food and something like that. And then the there were the fruits called bay that were used, collected by people and used. Now let us learn about the Harappan town in Gujarat, the city of Dhola Vira. Dhola Vira is the city which was located in the Khader Bait in the run of Kutch. So we will learn about the Dhola Vira. This is this city has fresh water and fertile soil. Dhola Vira was divided into three parts, and each part was surrounded with the massive stone walls with entrances through the gateways. So here, the city was divided into three parts. Each was having the massive, big stone walls, and the entrance was through the gateways. A large open area in the settlement where public ceremonies were held. You can see these were the large areas. These were the large open areas. Where the public ceremony could held in the city, large letters of Harappan script were carved out of white stone and inlaid in wood. वहाँ पे एक ये भी स्टाइल था कि in the woods they were used to just carve out the letters from the Harappan script to make sure that this is our town. The next is the city of Lothal stood behind the tributary of Sabarmati in Gujarat. The next first was Dhola Vira, and this is the Lothal. So we have two sites. Another one. Let us learn about Lothal now. It was Dhola Vira was in the run of Kutch, and it is Lothal is in the Gulf of Khambat. The raw materials such as semi-precious stones were easily available in Lothal. There were also a storehouse in the city. See, this was the storehouse in the city. Workshop for beads, making beads, pieces of stone, half-made beads, tools for bead making, and finished beads, all are found here. Is se me kya pata chalta hai? This city, the Lothal, was famous for making beads. They was known for making beads because 
they were easily available with the precious stones and the things that they needed for making the wine so most of the people used to do the job of bead making in the city but how did all of this ended they were so smart they were so doing any everything like from the fa- fabric crops or from the food crops to rearing the animals they were making the jewelries they were doing exploring the tools and so much more but they all ended the proper reason is not known just the archaeologist understood that the people st- stopped living in many of these cities the writing seals weights were no longer used raw materials were rarely asked from the distance in the city mohenjodaro we find that garbage piled up on the streets the drainage system broke down and new less impressive houses were built even over the streets like they was just stopped living there there were no one it was just a barren land no drainage system was proper working and everything just got broke down no one knows what was the reason about it is still to be discovered by the archaeologists some suggest that the rivers might dry up others suggest because of deforestation some says that there were the areas in flood so they escaped it from there but nothing can explain the real reason behind all of this so it's just a mystery so with this we end up the today's lesson here i hope aap logo ko acha laga hoga samajh aaya hoga interesting laga hoga agar aisa hai to make sure you like this video share it with your friends taki unhe bhi kuch naya seekhne ko mile they also learn about it aur isi tarah se aur interesting videos about the history and different subjects जानने के लिए हमारे चैनल से जुड़े रहिए फॉर दैट जस्ट सब्सक्राइब नाउ एंड हिट द बेल आइकन